everyone was going pretty crazy over him when Harry Potter was released. A little fire, and even back then, she knew he was something special. He's quite eccentric. Uh, he's very funny. Uh, he reads a lot. He writes a lot. He writes um, scripts a lot. Um, yeah. Um, no, he's uh, he's a cool guy. Co-star, who's now the star of Twilight, yeah. Robert Pattinson. Absolutely. You did that. Well, I don't. Know. I haven't actually seen Twilight yet, but um, I've got like all my. Friends who are teenage girls are doing my head in about him at the moment, and it's, it's starting. Sorry, Rob, but it's really starting to annoy me now. Your skin is pale white and ice cold, and sometimes you speak like like you're from a different time. What are you talking about? How old are you? Seventeen. How long have you been seventeen? That's my son. It is my boy. Take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. That's where Carlisle found me. I know what you are. Say it. Out loud. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory! Are you afraid? No. Uh, these are the dressing rooms. Cedric. First date was Stan's first date, and so uh, I kind of bonded with him. <laughs> My friend! <laughs> I quite liked having makeup put on, to be honest. <laughs> you, know, you can go out really late the night before, and then you can look like a complete wreck in the morning, and then it's up to everybody else to fix you up. Pre death, just about to die. This is a big makeup job. All this stuff takes a little while. That's the one from the graveyard. What was your last Cedric, today? get back to the cup. What are you talking about? So, what do you think of his uh, scars? Does it look manly? Very manly. Yeah. Very manly. Rugged and dirty and... It's good. So where are we going, guys? Oh. The graveyard? <laughs> right, this is from there. What, what do you think of the uh, food in the cafeteria general? generally pretty good and uh, I don't have to pay for it so, <laughs> so uh, <it's laughs> I don't mind. But I figured out how to fly. Uh, you just use some wires. I have considered radioactive sleep. It just doesn't exist. It doesn't my world. The Yule Ball. Describe what you have to wear in that. It's a, it's a, it's a cloak. I feel like Dracula. Vampire. Found out that you got the role of Cedric. Hmm. First reaction, freaking a little bit. Um, I, I, I know everyone thinks I should have done. Well, maybe I should have done, but <laughs> I just thought, yeah, I could do that. I, would, <laughs> I, would say, I said I went, and I think that confidence helped a lot with um, with getting the part. Now you're playing this guy who is pretty well like you, I think. Yeah, I think I made most of it up, <laughs> like, especially like for the audition. Like I was like, so did you do a lot of sport? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, sort of. <laughs> I do a lot of um, pool, <laughs> like darts, <laughs> play cards. <laughs> like, it works. <laughs> but then, um, yeah, so I kind of. <laughs> what was the question? What was the question? <laughs> Well, lost. this is about being nervous about being a yeah, 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 yeah. type of film. Yeah, yeah, it's, sorry. <laughs> yeah. As, you know, I know he's a prankster, but has he grown up? Did he pull any pranks on you? Not really, actually. Well, he might have done it. Maybe I just didn't notice. It's just like, <laughs> it's exactly what you'd want to see at a ball. And, uh, read it. I never really, <laughs> I never really thought, oh, I could go to the ball or something. Like, what, uh, your prom wasn't like that at all? I didn't have a prom. I had, like, but there are only six people in my year at school, and so like I never went to school. <laughs> but like, yeah. Well, you made up for it in this film. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was nice. It was like my end of school prom.
thinking about what's going to happen to you after people start seeing you in this movie? Are you ready to take the leap to North America and possibly start making films there? Twilight. Twilight star Robert Pattinson. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. This kind of reaction from women before in London for this, this is, uh, is that, was that my mom? Yeah. No, no, that's lots and lots of girls. That's and how do you respond to that when people are screaming at you? Kind of, you're not there. You're you're just uh, you leave your brain at the door, and it's like you just kind of you're just like a, a little puppet. <laughs> uh -huh. I just could have kind of, I'm sort of content to just be like grabbed. I don't even feel anything. Really? Like, you know, like... That's good to know. You can just grab him. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving you permission to grab him. You're going to be sorry about that. And now, and and your hair is like a thing that everyone is is obsessed with now. They love your hair. I know. I really, I do not understand that at all. Uh huh. At all. Now, people must have responded to your hair before. Never. Never. I mean, my friends from London who were here the other day were just thinking, why is everyone going on about your hair? Like, it's completely insane. Uh huh. So, like, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I can't see any difference. I don't know. No one else seems to want to get in a relationship with me. It's really strange. I, don't... I think you're wrong. Yeah, people just people people like screaming at me. Yeah. Actually, they like screaming at me in relationships as well. Yeah, oh, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of. But uh, theoretically, I mean, technically, technically, I am driving. But I mean, I don't actually know how to drive. But, um, <laughs> All right, then don't drive. Yeah, no. I, I also, would... we're driving on a different side of the road here as well. So. I figured that out after uh, a few right, weeks. Yeah. <laughs> right. like, I, I don't know how to uh, use the little wipey thing on the windscreen, so I can't actually see out, out of the windscreen. You either. don't know how to use the wipey thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you have to use the scraper, but I use the scraper, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to do anything, ever. You use a scraper? Yeah. <laughs> Who's wanna... taking care of you, man? <laughs> Inside, you hit a button and it, it scrapes it for you. you... <laughs> and so we got a special pair made for you because you're a vampire. So, uh... <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully something will happen. Um, I've kind of... I, I sort of related to it. Ced Cedric is, um... He's a... Uh, he, he seems to be quite good with, with the ladies, like uh, Cho, Cho is the sort of prettiest girl in school and he just asks her and she goes with him. So uh, I, know, I can't really relate to that to be honest. <laughs> um, Cedric and Cho's relationship I think is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, very, it's very innocent. <laughs> I, don't know, I think I hold her hand once. Which is like, like, I don't really have to like, it's, it's kind of my ideal type of relationship, like, we, we hardly ever see each other, like... No! Where else am I gonna go? Whether Edward and Bella would French kiss. Oh. More of a Chilean kiss. What's that? What does that mean? Just wasn't funny. Um, the, uh... <laughs> we didn't get it. Oh, I just want to try one thing. I, I like watching you sleep. It's, um... It's kind of fascinating to me. Um... Oh, I just want to try one thing. You stay very still. End of a long, hard day, I'm off.